praise the Lord, mightiest prophet of the Lord. Well, the Lord has spoken with me about the mission coming up in Finland. And uh, in this conversation, he spoke with me about a very, very historic healing. The historic healing anointing of the Lord that is going to visit Finland when he brings me there. A big, big, big healing anointing that the Lord is releasing during this time when he's sending me to Finland. So there is a big revival that is coming up to Finland, the nation of Finland. And uh, I see tremendous historic healing, a level I have not seen before in Finland. And uh, it is going to be a big moment for that country because we can already see how the Lord has begun that mission by already raising a cripple before I get there, this little baby Amy that was born totally crippled, three and a half years has never stepped down for the first time, now stepping down and walking. But he's shown me, again, a huge historic healing anointing that is going to shock the nation of Finland. It's going to be the big healing service and a big visitation of Jehovah Yahweh uh, coming to the nation of Finland. And I know that this is a very critical time in the history of the church because this is the hour at which many, many nations are longing to be visited. This is the hour when there is greater drought in the church, the hour when the pulpit, the pastors, the priesthood are longing for a visitation, a fresh breath from the Lord to refresh them and renew them. And yet he has decided now that he's going to visit Europe in such a stunning way and to visit Finland with a very shocking healing anointing that will take place there, a very mighty healing service. The visitation of the Lord will be quite overwhelming. I have seen a huge healing service and a huge healing anointing that is coming to Finland. And the Lord is doing all these things because this is the hour at which he's preparing the nations for the glorious coming of the Messiah. So at this hour, the Lord Jehovah is asking all nations to prepare because these are the visitations that mark the time and the hour, the visitations that prepare the church, the glorious church, for the glorious coming of the Messiah. Again, as I head to Finland, the Lord has spoken with me and showed me more than three times now, this past night, a shocking healing anointing that he will release when he brings me into that meeting, the healing service, after the two days of conference in Helsinki. And then he's going to heal very many people in different conditions in a way that will start up a big revival. It will ignite a big revival in Europe. And those that have ears, even the other nations, you can prepare that you too may be visited. This is going to be a meeting like no other meeting before. And the Lord Jehovah, in his mercy and grace, has decided to now visit the church. May those who have ears prepare in righteousness, turn away from sin, especially the sin of lying, deception, perversion, the gospel of prosperity, homosexuality, lesbianism, all these things that have beclouded the vision of the church. And the Lord is coming to assert his authority to reestablish the authority of the blood and the cross of Jesus. And so he's asking all the people in Europe, the people in Finland, the continent of Europe, to now hearken to his decrees, his righteous commands, and to choose a holier Christian life, a holy Christian living. Because the Bible says, that when the Messiah comes, for without holiness, no one will see the Lord. I think this becomes yet another wonderful opportunity for the continent of Europe, for the Church of Christ all the way from Sweden down to Denmark, coming to Sweden, Finland, Denmark, France, the Netherlands, Austria, Germany, Switzerland, Portugal, Spain, Greece, 
all the nations of Europe have a great opportunity to partake of this visitation because the Lord is going to ignite forth a massive historic end-time revival. And this end-time revival is the revival of righteousness, the revival of holiness, the revival of the Holy Spirit. So the Messiah is coming, beloved people, and Europe has such a wonderful opportunity at this hour to partake of the end revival, the end time revival of the Lord that we have seen consume Kenya. And in Kenya, this revival has been so big, the cloud of God, the Father, has visited the land. Wells that were toxic in their water content have been healed. Many innumerable number of cripples have walked. Innumerable number of blind, we don't even know how many they are, have seen. Many, 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 many deaf have heard. Many, many, many mute have spoken. Paralytics have walked. Spinal cord injuries have been healed. Tumors have dissolved. The mentally ill have been restored. They are now preaching the gospel. People like Peter Ndirangu and many others, people that were very mentally sick, living on top of trees, building their houses on top of a tree. Uh, now they are preaching the gospel of Jesus. They are testifying on their own healing. So this is and the reestablishing of the authority of the blood of Jesus that the Lord wants to bring to Europe. I know that right now the church in Europe is very cold. Most of the churches are dwindling away. Membership is declining. There is no authority. There is no power. So they are finding it very difficult to connect with the power of the Christian salvation that the Lord Jesus brought. But the Lord is saying that this is the hour at which he's coming again with the latter promised anointing, the latter glory that now the church in Europe, the blessed people of Europe, may also be partakers of this preparation for the glorious coming of the Messiah. This is the time in which to be a Christian. This is the time in which to be born again. This is the time at which to now walk in righteousness and holiness. Because there is no better time at which the world really needs the Lord and needs salvation than now. Especially for us, We know that the Messiah is coming. The signs of the coming of the the Messiah are clear, including this visitation coming to Finland. So there is a historic moment for Europe, that Europe may also partake of this mighty, mighty move of God, the mighty move of God, Jehovah God, that is sweeping across the globe and preparing the glorious way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. May those that have ears repent and prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Lord. Amen.